Adios. Look at that. I'm going to go to the bread work. I am an artist who became a baker for our family's survival. Right now, I am working as a baker at Breadworks in Pittsburgh, and for this installation at the mattress factory, I wanted to do something with the bread that I work with every day. And when I first started to think about working with bread, I saw in my memory all of these outstretched hands asking for food and safety in the aftermath of the cyclone that hit Burma's Delta in 2008. My wife, my friends, and I did some relief work for the cyclone victims. Whenever we would come to an affected area, there would be all of these hands outstretched, asking for food, for safety, for kindness, and for others. I cannot escape those scenes, the view of those hungry hands. When the cyclone hit, the roof of our house was destroyed. We first fixed this, and the next day we went to go help my parents' house near Rangoon. When we arrived, we saw that almost every house in the village was destroyed. There was nowhere left for the victims to stay except for the monasteries. But even then, there was still not enough food or places to stay. The basic food for Burmese people is rice, so we donated that first. At that time, we were running a small magazine, and we decided to take the money we had for the magazine business and use it to help the victims. When our friends heard that we were helping the victims, they started to come and ask how they could help as well. Our group was getting bigger, and we were able to start traveling to the affected areas. We traveled to help almost 50 villages, 30,000 people over four months. We were traveling twice a week, every week, until we came to the U.S. Whenever I am working with bread, I continue to see the hungry hands of the victims we helped in Burma, and I begin to think of other hands that are rising with needs. It is a pleasure to put nourishment in the hands of hungry ones. When I bake, peace becomes an ingredient. I wanted the audience to know that there are a lot of people who are hungry in different places, different countries, in different positions. That is why I chose to arrange the hands in different forms. I believe that everybody, especially those who have known hunger, will be happy to view this expanse of bread. I mentally combined the hungry hands that I cannot forget and the bread that I have enjoyed baking over the years to make this artwork because I want to bring a little bit of happiness to people.